With regards to long-term weight maintenance, it's not the same as weight loss, and I think that's very important. The good news about insulin resistance is that it can get better when you lose weight. So I mentioned that menopause happens and family history, and these are things we can't change. But what we can change is the abdominal distribution of weight that accompanies menopause and uh, the genetic issues and the insulin resistance. If we can mobilize intra-abdominal fat, our insulin sensitivity improves. So when I have somebody who comes in with elevated blood sugar, or elevated insulin levels, and I can successfully help that patient lose 30 pounds, we monitor the lab work and find out that, great, now their blood sugar is normal and their body isn't in that place where it's storing all the, the extra glucose as fat and that type of thing. So that person can then tolerate more carbohydrate. Maybe they can't eat as much carbohydrate as they did when they were 20, but they can increase their intake of carbohydrate. We still find that the protein's important and we have to keep that level about steady, but we can increase a little bit more carbohydrate, a little bit more fat, and get that, that diet a little bit more balanced, but still having the focus on adequate lean protein and making sure that uh, the carbohydrates are, again, the healthiest type and not an excessive amount.